More heavyweight action to close the year with Alexander Povetkin and Bermain Stavern. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Quick video now Alexander Povetkin, the number one ranked contender for the WBC belt that Deontay Bomb Squad has. Number two ranked with the WBC's Bermain Stavern, the person who's fought against Deontay Wilder. Now they're slated to fight each other December 17th, which brings more action to the heavyweight division. They both have power, both have a good, interesting style. And December 17th, World of Boxing, who is Povetkin's promoter, they won the rights to this fight, the purse bid, and now they stayed to fight in Russia. I don't know much about the undercard or anything at the moment, but December 17th is when the fight is happening. Quick thoughts, it's a good fight. I like this fight in lieu of, you got to look at it. Some people are like, oh, this and that. But Wilder is injured. He's not fighting in 2016. Tyson Fury, he has his own personal issues. So rather than see the fights that could have been stagnate, right? Klitschko, he's another person. He's out. He's injured. So I'd rather see these other heavyweights fight. And that's exactly what's happening. Luis King Kong Ortiz fights this weekend against Malik Scott, a veteran name, first fight with the new promoter. Anthony Joshua's fighting Deontay Wilder's former foe and sparring partner, Eric Molina. And he's fighting him December 10th, I believe. And then seven days later, a week later, we get this fight. So I prefer it that way instead of waiting for their big shot with Wilder. Plus, the Meldonian scandal, as you guys know, Alexander Povetkin tested positive for a substance that is manufactured in Russian pharmacies called Meldonium. It was just recently banned, so there's gray area. The Wilder Povetkin fight got canceled, and they took a while to rule. And then they said, hey, we're going to let you fight. We're not going to suspend you. We can't corroborate or pinpoint when you ingested this. And since it's in that gray area, we're going to let you fight. As a result, we're not going to just throw you in back into the number one spot. You got to fight for the number one spot again against the number two guy in an eliminator, which is Bermain Stavern. So I think it's a good fight. Povetkin usually does good with people who are about his height. If uh, like Watch and um, Klitschko, the guys that are much taller than him, it, it takes him a minute or he loses those fights like the Klitschko fight he lost. But both guys have power. I don't think Povetkin's really been in there with anyone. The slickness of a guy like Bermain Stavern. And I was in Vegas a couple months ago and Stavern's big. He, he's bigger than I thought. Like, I didn't, I don't know. It's just like his knuckle. He's a big dude. Pause. Um, my question is, he took a lot of shots, a lot of flush shots, and he had that rum doll or, or whatever that, like where he's dehydrated and severely sick. That's what they said he had when he was fighting Wilder and he took a lot of punishment. And we know Wilder has cracks. So my thing is, is he the same? You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's almost worse when you don't get knocked out because you're taking continual punishment. You look at Keith Thurman versus Robert Guerrero. The ghost was getting mauled and, and you know what I mean? Thurman was putting a hurting on him, knocked him down even, looked like he was close to stopping him. But Robert Guerrero being tough, he he weathered the storm and went the distance and lost the decision. And then he came back too quick against Aaron Martinez, a guy who only has four knockouts and he got dropped and it looked like he was in bad shape versus a guy who Josecito Lopez knocked out, Sammy Vasquez knocked out, you know what I mean? A guy who is not known for necessarily having that much power and Guerrero was badly hurt. Same thing happened with Stavern. After the Wilder fight, he fought a, a lower tier guy and he got knocked down. So, you know what I mean? To me, Povetkin, he, he's pretty much grown since the Klitschko loss. So, it's going to be interesting to see if if this time off has helped Stavern and he's back to the old Stavern, you know, I mean, the Stavern that fought Chris Ariola. Because if he's back to that that type of Stavern, then it's a real good fight. But if he kind of took too much punishment, and layoffs, and he's he's different, then maybe it's a different fight. But stylistically, if it's the best of both fighters, it should be a good fight. Let me know who wins. Drop that in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.